oil giant BP has agreed to pay the U.S. government more than $4.5 billion in penalties for its massive 2010 oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico. <laughs> It's the biggest criminal fine in U.S. history. BP has been ordered to pay 4.5 billion U.S. dollars as part of the settlement following the fatal Deepwater Horizon disaster of 2010. Two BP employees have been indicted on manslaughter charges and a former manager charged with misleading U.S. Congress. BP still faces a raft of claims from private plaintiffs. Getting this fine out of the way is a big hurdle for the stock price. It's a big overhang. Um, so once this is done, um, it then leads on to the civil claims, which should be done in February, and this will set a sort of level and people can start working out um, what level these civil claims are going to be. The Deepwater Horizon disaster killed 11 workers and spewed millions of barrels of crude oil into the Gulf of Mexico, hurting the environment and wrecking local economies. The company must still answer significant legal challenges brought by four U.S. states. It actually totals four and a half billion dollars if you break it down in these terms. It's a 1.256 billion dollar uh, criminal fine, a penalty they've agreed to pay. They've also agreed to pay 2.394 billion dollars to the National Fish and, and Wildlife Foundation and 350 million dollars to the National Academy of Sciences and then an additional 525 uh, million dollars to the Security and, uh, and Exchange Commission. Uh, so that is the end of the bill, if you like, for the federal government. Uh, and uh, they hope that draws a line now. The federal government, the American government, will not bring any uh, charges uh, against BP now. So they've, they've settled that. But th there are other civil cases against BP. Uh, and uh, they have, in this statement, uh, promised to vigorously defend themselves against that civil litigation. <laughs> Attorney General Eric Holder traveled to Louisiana to make the announcement. This marks both the largest single criminal fine, more than $1.25 billion, and the largest total criminal resolution, $4 billion, in the history of the United States. Under the settlement, BP will plead guilty to 11 charges of felony misconduct, one for each of the men who died when the rig went down. BP's new CEO, Bob Dudley, an American citizen who took over from Britain's Tony Haywood, whose handling of the spill was harshly criticised, said in a statement, All of us at BP deeply regret the tragic loss of life caused by the Deepwater Horizon accident, as well as the impact of the spill on the Gulf Coast region.